Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science, and today we're going to be talking about intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces are two very different things, but they can be easily confused. An intermolecular force is an attraction between two molecules. An intermolecular force is not quite a bond, and it's more of an attraction, which is why we designate it with this dotted line. An intramolecular force is a force within a molecule and is actually a bond, which is why we draw it as a line. Intramolecular forces hold atoms together to create molecules, and as a result they are much stronger than intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces, however, are still very important as they determine the rate at which things evaporate, and they also hold things like your DNA together. There are many different types of intermolecular forces. Here is a list of the types of intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bonding is the strongest of the intermolecular forces. One of the molecules must have a hydrogen, and the other molecule must have either a hydrogen attached to an oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. This creates an attraction between the hydrogen, which has less electrons, and the electronegative oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. An ion-dipole interaction is the attraction between an ionic compound and a covalent compound. One of the charges of the ionic compound is attracted to a partial charge, either positive or negative, of the covalent compound. Dipole-dipole interactions occur between two covalently bonded molecules. Covalently bonded molecules experience dipole moments where they create a partially negative and a partially positive charge. The dipole-dipole interaction is when one partial positive of a compound is attracted to the partial negative of the other compound. The last intermolecular force, which is called London dispersion forces or van der Waals forces, are experienced by all molecules. They are also the weakest of all of the intermolecular forces. Now that we've established the various kinds of intermolecular forces, I want you to try and put them in order from strongest to weakest, including the intramolecular forces. All right, now I'm going to put them in order quick and let's see how close you were. How close did you get? Did you think that hydrogen bonding was stronger than covalent? Don't worry if you did. When I was in general chemistry, it took me a long time to learn that an intramolecular force was stronger than an intermolecular force. Since a covalent bond is a sharing of electrons, they're the strongest. Ionic bonds are easier to break apart because the electrons are not evenly distributed. Hydrogen bonds are the strongest of the intermolecular forces. However, since they're an attraction between two molecules, they're not as strong as a bond that holds a molecule together. I hope you've enjoyed this video on intermolecular forces. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!